California feuding from homelessness to auto emissions to fundraising halls. President Trump's got California in his sights. The president today announcing his administration is revoking California's federal waiver to set its own emission standards. Now, he's currently out west on a $15 million fundraising blitz. And joining us now uh, to explain how this federal state showdown could and maybe should turn out as the Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano, the host of uh, Liberty File over on, on Fox Nation. We want to these emissions rules, Judge, as you know, have been really, really closely tracked in the auto industry. They want right. to know how this whole thing is going to shake out. Right. Uh, so it's the federal government versus the the state, right? Is the state's rights issue or what? How do you well, look at it? Well, it's actually both. It's interstate commerce and it's a state's rights issue. Here's how it came down. When the statute was written, which set a floor below which uh, no state could permit and no manufacturer could permit the automobile to go. Mm -hmm. uh, the statute gave the president of the United States the authority to give a state a waiver, not to make the rules easier, but to make them more difficult, to, to impose greater standards on the manufacturer. California has been doing that for years. So if you buy a car in Nevada and drive it to California, it might not conform to the California law. That's right. the president's right. argument that when you go from one state to another and you don't conform, that's going to ir interfere with interstate commerce. The California argument is we're talking about health and safety here, and that is particularly a local concern, huh. and we have a far worse problem in California than the rest of the country so does. Mr. President, please let us care for it uh, on our own. So as he moves to revoke the waiver, I assume they'll fight this out over some time. So just yes. for argument's sake, say GM or Ford or one of the companies brought you in for legal advice and said, well, how should we plan for the next however many years? That, what, would you, what would you tell them? You have put your finger on the most difficult problem for people watching this show and listening to us now, and that is how does the manufacturer plan when they don't know what the law will be? So when they file their challenge and say to a, a judge, we have to plan, the judge should stop her or his schedule and address this immediately hmm. because the plans are made years out. Right. And so for how knows. much for right. how much longer will the California rules change? Because the cars have already been manufactured to be sold in California are conformed to that California rule. Do right. they now have to change? Wow. Uh, this this is what a federal judge is going to have to decide. States rights versus interstate commerce. But do it sooner rather than later. Is your is your is your point and it's a good one.